Testing, testing. One, two. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome everybody. Good morning. Just come in, come in. Before we get started, we're going to have a word of prayer. Let's start by Sister Brenda. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you this morning for this time. We thank you uh, for the opportunity and the privilege, Lord God, to um, come before your throne room of grace and mercy this evening, this morning, Lord God, with our sisters and our brothers live on Facebook. We give you all of the praise, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for those that will be joining us now and those that will come after, Lord God. We thank you that our words are life, Lord God, and spirit, and that we'll be speaking on, Lord God, taking better care of our bodies, the temple. So we give you all the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And we are so thankful this morning. Amen. For each and every one of you who are tuning in to us this morning for our subject this morning on healthy eating fervent prayer. Amen. I want to introduce my fellow comrades here on the stage with me. And that's Sister Brenda, who just, Brenda Scrubs, who just uh, led us in prayer. Amen. And then we also have Tasha Graves right here. Amen. 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 And we're going to just introduce and talk about some things that are just every day, and we want your, you know, your, if you're on Facebook or on YouTube, you can go ahead and ask your questions at this, this time because we want it to be relaxed and conversational and answer questions and give information. That's important to our lives right now. So, yes, we are addressing something that, something that we all do every day, and I think here in America we have endless arrays of foods that we can oh and eat, so many things we can try. Yes. But of course, we do know that a lot of the things that we eat are not good for us. That's now, true. you know, you might, your doctor, you probably heard this from your doctor or some other health professional um, that's saying that we really should cut back on certain things. But, and we always know that, you know, we don't cut back on everything that we eat. We don't listen sometimes to what the doctors tell us. But I would hope you will listen to God yes. and what he has to say yes. about it. And I've written down some scriptures here about what God has to say about our eating. And I want you to pay attention to that. And don't worry, I'm talking to myself as well, because <laughs> I need this word. All of us. All of us. <laughs> yes, indeed, all of us. In 1 Corinthians 10 and 31, it says, so whether you eat or drink mm -hmm. or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Now, how many of us can honestly, honestly, that everything we eat we're doing it to the glory and honor of God. <laughs> I, you know, that big I was going to say, don't look at me. <laughs> no. <laughs> me either. Woo. Big plate of spaghetti, you know, it could be a big fat roast or something like that. We're not always eating according to the glory of God. And then uh, if you look into another scripture in Proverbs 25 and 27, it yes. says, it is not good to eat too much honey. Now, what mm. is honey? Something sweet. Yes. I equate that with sugar. And I'll let you know, sugar is my biggest challenge of all. Wow. But it says, it is not good to eat too much honey, nor is it honorable to search out the manners that are too deep. And that's from Proverbs 25 and 27. Amen. So I have a lot more to say about sugar, but we'll talk about that later on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In 1 Corinthians 6 and 12, and also verse 13, it says, all things are lawful for me. Now, this is the prophet Paul saying that. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both, one and the other. Now, I think all of us can be honest with, with, with ourselves. I think we all may have had or, ha or do have yes. some addictions in yes. our life. That's true. You know, we might call it Pepsi. Uh, we may call it coffee. I Ooh. call it uh, sugar. <laughs> I'm just honest. I do call it sugar. All of it's sugar. Well, that is my, my biggest weakness. weakness. Yes. But yes, there are some addictions, but we're not supposed to let that be in control of us. That's true. We're supposed to have control, yes. self-control. Self yes. I think that's one of the fruits of the Spirit, it isn't is. it? It yeah. is. It okay. is. Self-control. Yeah, yeah. So... You know, this is what God has to say in the scripture. So besides yes. your doctors, besides the health officials, are we really listening to the word of God when it comes to our diet and what we eat? Amen. So why are we talking about healthy eating today? 
But, you know, I thought about this subject for a while, and I thought about my mother's generation. And back in her day, I can't remember, and I know my grandparents, they didn't have all the information we have available today. That's you true. know, we have a slew of information. All we have to do is just take the little handheld computers that we carry around us every day called our cell phones and look things up. That's all we have to do. We have no excuse. And as I've gotten older and experienced, you know, friends and different family members dying prematurely, I'm saying, why can't we stop this? Wow. I know, why can't we change the way we have grown up and are accustomed to eating? That's true. That's a good question. Because there are a lot of variations. There are a lot of choices that we can make. I mean, like I said, there's an endless array. And I hate to see, you know, how we're destroying ourselves and much less how we're influencing our future generations. Amen. Amen. We've talked about our children. Yes, we know. have. I've looked at my grandson because of COVID. And, you know, when the schools were initially closed completely last year, and he was just stuck in the house doing e-learning and stuff, but he was also just not being able to go outside and exercise. He was just doing this all day with the video games, you know, finger work. Not body work, <laughs> but finger work. Finger work. And I just saw him slowly gaining weight more and more weight, you know, from that. But thank God, you know, since things are a little bit more relaxed now, he is getting out and doing some things, and I've noticed some of the weight coming off. Yes. But we still have the challenge of trying to change his diet. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's the big challenge. That like, is a big challenge. And our children look at us. Yes, you they know, do. You know, we're the ones cooking. I remember my girls didn't always eat what I cooked, but they still eventually developed some of my habits of what I ate and what, you know, her fa their father and I ate. So they're looking at us and practicing what we're doing. So we have that influence, and That's we need true. to do something about it that so is that true. they don't grow up with all these bad habits. The bad habits. The wrong <laughs> things. Wow. I'd like to say, you know, some of the, the uh, bad habits that we have with sweets and, and caffeine and things, you know, it is true. It is traditional for some of us in mm -hmm. our homes. We saw that. I was at work the other day, and um, one of the guests was sitting uh, at a table, and she had a cup of coffee, and it reminded me of my grandmother mm -hmm. when I was younger. You know, you go to grandma's yeah. house, and at that time she had a cup and a saucer, mm -hmm. where she would pour her coffee in the saucer, Ooh. blow on it, and drink it. I've seen that. It reminded me of that, and I said, "Wow, I remember that." And the lady said, "You know what? I remember too, because my grandmother used to do the same thing too." Yeah, she said, "A mom used to do that too," yeah. but I remember my grandmother doing that, and I think the smell, the aroma in the house in the morning when you smell that coffee, yeah. and you know, years on down the road, I began to drink coffee, oh, yeah. and I'm like, "Wow, it smells so good." It just, wow, I said the flavor tastes so good. And then I began to experiment with different flavors of coffee, like yeah. hazelnut, mm -hmm. vanilla cream, you know, all that stuff that entices you. And then you load it up with sugar oh, and yes. coffee, oh, yes. sugar and cream. That's oh, what it is. And that, the coffee. That, that thick cream, yes. not regular milk. What's yes. it called? Evaporated milk. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You're like, oh, my God goodness, this is good. Uh -huh. And then you experiment further, and they come out now, you know, with different flavors of cream, mm -hmm. vanilla cream. Right. Then you got the hazelnut cream. Then you got the sweet cream. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, it's, it's never ending. It's no wonder why it's so hard for us to let go of things, because yes. they are ever increasing in something new to add to it. Yeah, exactly. and it has that sentimental yeah. value, because you, when you're talking about your grandmother. Yes. That's who started me with coffee. God bless her. I uh, still love too. her. Yeah. <laughs> I was five years old when I heard my first cup of coffee. And it wasn't just regular coffee, guys. It was called chicory. Hmm. chicory. And chicory is some of the darkest, richest coffee you can get. It's cold black. It will turn a white cup brown in size from just staining the cup. And she started me on chicory with sweet rolls in the morning for breakfast. Wow. And it was delicious. <laughs> it was? <laughs> That, that is so funny because it's same with me. I don't know I was five, but I was probably between six or seven. And, you know, my grandmother, she just used to, you know, save me the last sip of her coffee, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why today I do love coffee. Yeah. But once again, we can go back to it's all about self-control. Yes. Because anything that you eat, I mean, you can eat a salad, but if you put – enough of the wrong things mm -hmm. in it, exactly. that salad won't come good, you know, that <laughs> salad. Exactly. Oh, that is it true. just be just as bad as anything else you've eaten unhealthy. Yeah. You know, yeah. so even with coffee, we, we you know, we just got to be mindful, right. you know, and have that self-control on, you know, what to put in and what not to That's put true. in it. 
I just wanted to read you guys some of the things that I found out about the American diet wow. and just how unhealthy. I wonder our diet do we want to hear it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to. <laughs> the main culprits, according to experts, for the American diet are our high fat foods, sodas, and too little exercise. Fatty, unbalanced, and oversized. That, in a nutshell, is the American diet. Wow. You know, I remember, you know, listening to foreigners and even some personally, one-on-one, -on -one, especially I'm listening to this French lady who came to America once and I asked her what she thought about the food. And she says, everything is too much. Our plates are too big. Yes. We put too many big portions of everything wow. of our foods. So first of all, you know, self-control and what is it? Moderation. Mm. We don't practice enough moderation here in America that's when it comes to our that's eating. That's true. So all of that, it says, but it, does have to, it doesn't have to be our diet. People think eating healthy is difficult, but small things do make a big difference. The poor diets and the sedentary lifestyles of the American public have led to high rates of obesity, yes. overweight, and diet-related chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, and certain types of cancers. During the lockdown, like I said, because of COVID, I noticed how my grandson was gaining weight. But now, thank God, he's starting to lose it since the restrictions have started. According to the Center of Disease Control, six in 10 adults or, or about 117 million people wow. suffer at least one diet-related disease. And then four in 10 adults suffer two or more diseases that are diet-related. These diseases are largely preventable. Some are even reversible. That's true. And include cardiovascular disease, cancers, diabetes, among others. To be clear, these diseases are our nation's deadliest killers. And as a common denominator, poor diet is the leading cause of illness, disability, and premature death. The toll is, so, is, is, so, is sobering. It says nearly 700,000 Americans, and this is back in 2019 that this was done, over, over 700,000 Americans die every year from diet-related disease. So if this is back in 2019, you can imagine what the numbers are, because they have not improved and we're in going down. Yeah, yeah, we're in 2021. Yeah, yes, yeah. But it gets even worse. It says the longevity in the United States has been on the decline declined for the last three years. While the opioid crisis explains much of the decline, the fall in women's life expectancy is largely due to women dying at younger ages from the usual diet-related diseases, particularly heart disease. And do you know what ethnicity has the highest rate of uh, dying from heart disease? I don't. Look at each other the color of our skin. The wow. black women have the wow. highest rate in the whole nation of dying from heart disease. In fact, both men and women, of course, do have death rates. Have, uh, both men and women death rates have gone up from multiple diet-related illnesses, including, as I've said, diabetes, stroke, and Alzheimer's. But heart disease remains our number one killer. And advances in modern medicine are no longer improving our survival rate all the modern medicines and improvements are still not improving our survival rate from heart disease. Mm. That's incredible. That's crazy. Yes. Wow. Most people think that eating healthy is work. You know, I've, I've heard it's too expensive. Um, it doesn't taste good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the time. But I tell you, after over 60 years, I found the basic thing is, and with it, like with everything else, people do what they want to do. That is Amen. true. That is That's true. all it is. We all do what we want to do. If it's important in our lives, and I think, what were you saying earlier, Sister Brenda? That we make time for it. We make time. We make time to go get our eyelashes oh, done. Yeah. We're going to make time to do what? Get our hair done, our mm -hmm. nails done. We're going to make time to go shoe shopping. You know, some of us <laughs> love some shoes and clothes shopping. Yeah. And we're going to make time to go eat. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that. Oh, yeah. On the way to the nail, if we're hungry, we're going to grab something at the drive through real quick food, oh, yeah. and we're going to get something to eat. So we're going to make time, like you said, That's for right. what we want to make time for. That's right. That's, That's right. exactly what I was going to say. We make time for those things because those things are important to us. Yes. But 
at some point, when do you realize that your health is just important? Mm -hmm. More important. Yeah. Just, yeah, more, yes, more yes, important. It's like how do we get to the mindset that this, that it is important that you want and willing to, you know, think twice to eat something that's more healthier. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I, I feel like when you put something in your mouth, it's like you eating to live for tomorrow. Right. You know, to you know, because what you eat now, I'm telling you, is going to affect you in your future. Right. That's true. You're right. That is true. And, and for you uh, looking, viewing us through the internet, if you have any questions, please post them because we want to answer your questions as well. We have some comments uh, concerning this. Please let us know. But it's also very important. And, and like I said earlier, don't forget, we're influencing the next generation. They're watching us. I mean, I don't, I'm from New Orleans, guys, and food is... It's not just an activity, it's, it's an art form. Yes. You don't do anything in New Orleans, you don't hold any event that Without does food. not include food. That's yeah. Right. And it has to be rich, rich, delicious, sweet. delicate. <laughs> My mother was Creole. Creole cooking, you guys, is rich. Yes, oh, wow. it is. They learn how to make food more fattening. I mean, <laughs> they took, I told my staff, I always treat them every summer now with, uh, what's that, Kona ice? <laughs> but down south, we don't have just the, the syrup on our, our sugar cones. Uh -huh. They've added sweetened condensed milk. Oh wow! With the flavor. <laughs> wow. To make it more rich, more rich and fattening. More oh, tasteful. Wow. And, and then they take cakes and they do outrageous things with cakes as well to make it more rich. Putting instead of putting like a jelly filling or a jelly or something in it, they'll yes. put in pudding itself. That's true. All kinds in of filling, things. the filling of the the pudding is inside of the cake. Right. I've tasted of those. Those are, by the way, those are good. But you know, uh, we can't have too much of that. No, no. <laughs> they call them door bash cakes. They're yes. Way too rich. <laughs> But we got something today we want to show you guys. We uh, made some examples of just some simple, simple little recipes. Simple. They're not difficult at all not to make. Right? And don't not take much all. of your time. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have an Apple uh, phone and uh -huh. uh, a watch. And it tells me every week how much screen time I've done on the phone, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, if you have enough time to have all the screen time on your phone, then you That's can true. use some of that screen time to research some simple and easy healthy recipes, all right? That is true. It'll be so delicious for you and your family, amen? Amen. Amen. All right, so let's bring over this table. Just give us just a minute here. Just walk over here and get this table. You know, I was, um, when I was doing these little instant little things that we have, um, drinks this morning, I, it only took about five minutes took about five minutes out of my time um, to get this done. The prepping time uh, were about five minutes, and then the actual time of doing it was about five minutes. So we do have time. We do have time oh, yeah. to do this. Oh, yeah. We do have the time. We just have to make the time. And then we have to decide that, hey, I'm important enough. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Am, importing, I am important enough to take the time to make sure that I feel better and that I, I look better. But, you know, um, I was sharing viewers, I was sharing with the panel today that I was looking at my Instagram page um, yesterday and I looked at this young lady and she's, I think, 38, 39, and she began a journey of reducing her weight for herself. It wasn't because she got a new boyfriend or or, or heart disease or anything, but she began to do it for herself. You know, if we just take the time to think about who we are, what do you want? Do you feel that you're important enough? And then down the stretch, when she had lost some of the weight, her, she said that her mind told her, do you deserve it? Mm. I want to ask you the question today as we begin to talk about what we prepared here mm -hmm. to show you. Think about this and tell yourself this, that you deserve this. Yeah. You are worthy to have clean eating in your life. You are worthy to have the weight that you want off your body. You're worthy to have a lot of energy. You're worthy to feel good about yourself. You are worth this. You are worth taking the time now to change some things. And Pastor D is going to get more into setting some goals and talking about it. But I just want to reiterate that, you know, if, if you think about it, ask yourself the question, are you worth it? And then answer that with a yes, because you are. And then make the changes that are necessary for you. Maybe what I do and what pastor do and what um, uh, Tasha does, maybe that doesn't work for you, but there's something that can work for you. Amen. Right. I mean, we all are not affected the same way by foods as others. Like Sister Brenda, 
I'm going to talk about my parfaits in just a minute, but you have like a negative effect to Greek yogurt. Yes. Yes. So yes. you have to alternate, you know, your diet a little bit because if you know something is harming your body or it's not good for your body, even though it might be good for other people, it's just not good for me. Okay. Like I found years ago, um, I can't drink a lot of caffeine. Like, like I started drinking, like I said, coffee with, with my grandmother. But after a few years of drinking coffee every morning and having at least two, sometimes even three cups a day, yes. you know, my body just, I don't know, it just, I can't do it anymore. I can't react with it. It causes, um, uh, what is this, dizziness, and it, it just upsets me too much. Yes, you're so, bloating. Yeah, bloating. And yes. So I just had to stop drinking. The caffeine was just not good for me. So I have very little caffeine. I'm a tea drinker now. I never thought I would be a tea drinker. <laughs> I mean, I used to tease people who were tea drinkers when I was younger. But, you know, I'm, I, and I love it. I love teas, all kinds of teas, you know. I'm uh, still not too careful about the fruit teas, though. I'm not too fruit crazy teas. about the teas. <laughs> I, I, I like, like the fruit teas. Uh, well, see, I love coffee, but what I've done, I've cut back. Right. I'm, I'm not cutting coffee completely out of my diet. <laughs> I don't want to. I, well, I understand. But I have cut back a lot. And, and that's I moderation. Have. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's what it is. That you, is. Know, you can that's still have what you, any, about just about everything you want, but that's true. moderation. That's true. And that's, that's basically even with all kinds of foods. All we can still foods. eat mm -hmm. anything we want, that's but it's true. just moderation. You don't have moderation. to pile your plate. Remember back in the days when, um, what you call those uh, restaurants, um, the self-serve restaurants again? The self-serve uh, um, buffets. Yeah, buffet. Oh really my popular. goodness! The pal. How people used to go after church, especially the Ooh. saints, and pile their plates. I up was not so in high. that. Just because I wasn't. Just it because. wasn't me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and that was not good for us guys. You know, it's just was not good for us. So we, we, our bodies could sustain a whole lot less food and still get all the nutrients it needs without having to eat such Amen. a large quantity. So Amen. Anyway, so I prepared. Uh, we have several different things here on um, yes. our table that are healthy, and I prepared the, the parfaits. Now, I did two different kind of parfaits. I did one with plain Greek yogurt, and I did another with sugar-free um, Cool Whip, because like I said, I wanted to make sure Sister Brenda could taste it and, and she wouldn't have any ill effects. And effect. I want to taste it. Yes. <laughs> now, most parfaits are very healthy, but of course, you can make parfaits that are not healthy. So I did mine in the healthy way. Researchers have found that obese adults who ate three servings of fat-free yogurt, which is what I use, a day as part of a reduced calorie diet lost 22% more weight and 61% more body fat than those who simply cut their calories and didn't bone up on the calcium. That's and amazing. ladies, you should know we need calcium as we get older. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's yogurt true. eaters also lost 81% more fat in the stomach area, <clears throat> and which is something I desperately need. Oh my. Uh, than non yogurt eaters. Wow. Okay. That's a spoon. Amazing. So, by using just a little bit of yogurt, not, it's not even in each dish here, it's not even a cup of yogurt, really. Uh, so, spoon, like you put in the yogurt, you put in, um, I use frozen fruit because what I found out is that when you use frozen food, fruit and then you put it in the refrigerator after you've made it, give it a couple of hours uh, at least, if not overnight, and that the juices from the fruit starts to dis dissolve, you know, defrost from being frozen. Mm -hmm. And the flavors of the f that fruit is going all into wow. the yogurt, That's all amazing. into the whipped cream, and it is delicious. delicious. I can't delicious. wait to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> and then you use just a little bit, if you like uh, granola, and some of them are topped with uh, granola, mm -hmm. you can't use a lot of granolas, guys. Now, when I was, a, was younger, I, I admit, I used to use a bowl of granola like cereal. Aww. But you can't eat granola like that. <laughs> granola has too much sugar and too much fat. But in moderation, it's okay. Yes. So I just sprinkled on some of them, not all of them, some granola on top of it, you know, so just to give it some flavor. flavor. So those who like granola and then some people who don't like granola. Wow. But this is an easy, delicious, fat-free breakfast, or it can be a snack, and it's guilt-free, guilt you know? Free. I like the, a guilt-free. Yeah, totally. Cause, and, and, and doctors always recommend when you're going on diets, um, berries. I use more berries than anything here because I've got blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Yes. Because those fruits have the least amount of sugar. Other fruits like, uh, ban I didn't know bananas, bananas had so have many sugar. sugar. Yes, it yes. Does. Yeah, it's you know, And grapes have a lot of sugar. Yes. yes. So if you're trying to reduce your sugar intake, 
using berries is a very good alternative. Mm -hmm. So this is totally guilt-free. I'm going to offer it to you guys. <laughs> we have some people here in the sanctuary. You'll have some too. So um, very good, fat-free, uh, delicious, healthy dessert that you will not feel guilty about. And look at the portion sizes too. It's not too much. Not too you much. You don't need a big old glass, you know, like that. And that's another like thing. Like we used to get. Yeah. <laughs> we have to learn how to reduce our, our quantity of wanting so much food intake at one time. They prefer you having, what, these little bitty meals every day? Yes. Now, now I don't always have time for that, you yes, know, because I can't stop like that and just eat a bitty meal. Uh, they, they want you to have, they say about every three to four hours, right. you need to eat a, a small saucer full of food. Or if you're counting your calories, don't go over your calories, so you need to eat this amount at a certain time. Right. Yes. Yeah, so I try to do as best I can. I do carry some kind of snacks with me, you right. know, healthy snacks. But... Uh, these, these portions are just right, and it's, it's guilt-free, like I said. Oh, wow. wow. I can't wait to taste it. Well, um, today I uh, bought in juice uh, smoothies, smoothies, and I bought in juices. I bought in uh, turmeric and ginger with lemon um, juice, which is really great if you get a tickling in your throat. Mm. Uh, it is really great. And you know, turmeric and ginger, they are great for inflammation in your body. Yeah. They, let me put it this way. They are just great for whatever ails you. Yeah. I'm telling you. And then I used lemon in it just to give it a, a, another different flavor in there. So I, ma I made those. And then I made some green smoothies, too, because spinach, you need to get your greens in. Mm -hmm. And if you're not That's a person right. that likes to yes. eat spinach or raw vegetable or a person that don't like eating salads, you can go ahead and smoothie it up or juice it up and get yeah. it that way and just drink it on down. Also, I made a drink with beets in it, and I used dark berries and uh, cherries and grapes in it, and it's just wonderful, and the flavor is good. I didn't put any sugar in it. The beets and the frozen fruit, I used frozen fruit. Yeah. It made its own taste, and it just tastes good. Now, one of them, uh, because I like collagen, collagen, if you are... Uh, maturing like some of us are, <laughs> you're going to need some collagen. Yes. Why? Right. Collagen is good for your skin. It keeps it plump, mm -hmm. moist, rich looking, keep it glowing. So I have some of the drinks I put collagen in. So you want to get you some collagen. And it's never too early, even if you're in your late 20s, you can start using collagen. We'll get more into that. But those are the drinks that I have that some of uh, the guests that are here today and the panel is going to taste today. But I tell you, when you begin to think about, I'm not a salad person. Mm -hmm. I don't eat salads like that. Uh -huh. So when I get up in the morning and, and take my greens, I know I'm getting it in that way. Yeah, yeah. You can also put cucumbers in your smoothie. We'll get into that. All right. That's good. Okay. So, what did so you do, I prepared for you guys today um, tuna in a cucumber cup. I hope they'd be able to see it well. I, I thought it was so cute. So um, as far as cucumbers, um, they are low in calories. Cucumbers contain many important vitamins and minerals, as well as water content. Um, eating cucumbers may lead to many potential health benefits, including weight loss, balance, um, hydration, yeah. digest, um, digestive regularly, and lower blood sugar levels. That's great. Okay. The, the, it's good for the digestion system, yes, help you to yeah, digest yes. your food. That is really yes. good. It's really, really good. So that's a, you know, one of the reasons why I, ch I chose cucumbers. So tuna is a, it has a, a, a lot. Yeah. Tuna does a lot for us with the omega-3 fatty acids, which that's help good. in bringing balance mm -hmm. in the blood vessels, thereby reducing cholesterol in the arteries. Wow. Um, it That's has good to know. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it has potassium, which is known for lowering blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, it has vitamin C that improves in your immune system. Wow. It contains vitamin B, B, which is a major component of strengthening our bones. Oh, wow. So I mean, and it does. All, it, I mean, it does a lot. It, it even helps. They did a study where it showed. Um, as far as depression, mm -hmm. so they had a wow. group. Is they they did a study. Really? They had a group of people that was uh -huh. taking Prozac, and then they had a group of people that was uh, just doing tuna for a couple of months, okay. where it really? was proven that it helped with depression. Wow! Wow! That's awesome. That's then really good to know. Prozac. So yeah. wow. that was kind of awesome to read. So please Google that, and mm -hmm. you know it's a lot of information about that. So. So I kind of mix it up. I use a little, um, I use uh, low mayo. Mm -hmm. um, and you can use Greek yogurt as well. Okay. Yes. 
you can use free yogurts where I use um, red onions and um, just a little dill, just a, a little fresh dill just mm -hmm. for uh, presentation. So <laughs> looks good. Yeah, looks thank delicious. you. Thank it you. Does. I think like that tuna is like the other fish, like salmon and other fishes. It's uh, most doctors like that to tell you to have that kind of the fatty acids uh, that are in the omega threes and yes. all that stuff mm -hmm. that are in fish, and they prefer us to eat one. What was it? Is it either one or two servings a week? Two servings. Yeah, two servings two a week. Servings. Now down south, when I was living back home, my, both my parents were fishermen, so it was no problem for me getting lots of fish. That's <laughs> the truth. I think we. I know we had fish every day. Yeah. I know it was a part of our diet every day. You gonna have fish mm. every day. There was always fish in the freezer because yes, my, my mom and dad they went fishing every week. If they my they mom and my fish. aunties they mm -hmm. went fishing. We were yeah. from Mississippi, so. Um, mm -hmm. We had fish every day. Yeah. My goodness, so it, it was, was good. delicious. It was <laughs> delicious. So yeah, eat all the fish you can. So that I know is a very healthy meal, and I love fish too. So that's well, delicious. That is great. So if you have questions, please don't forget. I'm getting my phone. That's why I'm getting up to send us your questions. Um, if you have questions or you want to uh, have us to say something about a certain food that we have here, please don't forget we are Facebook Live and YouTube Live. So we want to remind you of that. And. Uh, and for those who are even here in the sanctuary, there's a mic right there in the center aisle if you had any questions or comments as well that you can talk on. Amen. But, you know, I mean, we are also, you know, informed to also try to eat more organically today. And I don't know about you guys, when I was raising my, my children, you know, I used to have, I have two girls, but my husband also has two, so sometimes all four girls would be there. It's expensive to buy all this organic food, you know, the vegetables and the fruit used to be very exp expensive. But what I found out, though, there are ways to take the foods that are not organic yes. and to get these pesticides off, because that's what um, the, the whole thing about going organic is. A lot of fruits and vegetables, plants are grown today by farmers, and they have to keep putting a lot of pesticides on the food to keep all the bugs off the food, wow. keep them off and keep them from eating, you know, what they're growing. But I looked it up, and I found out that there are several ways that you can clean your fruits and vegetables so that they can be healthy and free of pesticides. Uh -huh. Like one of them is, is this. When cleaning delicate fruit and vegetables, like berries, fill a large bowl with four parts water to one part white vinegar. Place the fruit or the vegetables so that they are totally submerged in the vinegar wash, and then just soak them for 20 minutes. Okay. Rinse the fruit or the vegetables thoroughly under cool water, and then pat them dry with a clean paper towel. So why are they using vinegar? Well, according to the experts from the Environmental Working Group, white vinegar comes with an acidic acid which can dissolve chemicals such as pesticides present on the skin of fruits and vegetables. The acid can also kill about 98% of bacteria on your produce. Another way to clean uh, uh, fruits uh, like apples is to soak them for 15 minutes in a solution or a teaspoon of baking soda and two cups of water, followed by a thorough rinse of cold water. The experts say to always use cool or cold water because using hot water can actually cause pathways for microorganisms to get inside of them. Wow. It's like opening your pores true. of wow. your skin. Yes. So you're opening it up so all these other things can come on in. So you don't want that to happen. So always use cold or cool water. That's good to know. Yeah, to do that. So we have some ideas um, that will help you to eat healthy. Because I know, you know, we always can have some excuses, of, <laughs> like we already named some, a few. Wow. But we just have some pointers. And you may have some yourself. But like I said, I'm also talking to me because i got to make some changes in my life this We year. all do. Yeah. <laughs> so these are some pointers for me. We all can just talk about these together. Yes. One is, before going to the store, instead of just going, you know you, you need to go to the store and get some food for the house, make a list. Don't well, just go there without a list because you'll start picking up a lot of stuff that you don't really need to have. Because I don't know about you, it's, if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it. Yes. You know? Yes. So True. instead <laughs> of me just going blindly into the store, I make a list. I put it on my phone. Now, I used to, I used to have a sheet of paper I always wrote it on, but now cell phones are very handy. Yes, handy. they are. Yes, <laughs> yes they are. Yes. And you can use the microphone, too, on the cell phone. Oh, just yes. hit the microphone and say what you're going to say on right. your list. And it'll yep. just show up on there. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, very handy. Another big one. 
Don't go to the store hungry wow. or, or emotional. <laughs> now that oh, you can't Lord. say enough of. Well, oh, no, wow. I can because <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've I went to the store so hungry. Oh, wow. And I, my cart was supposed to only have like two or three items in it. <laughs> And it had a whole lot more. So everything I looked good to you. Yes, <laughs> everything. I um, especially I don't go to the store hungry. I make sure I eat a little something. Yeah, it might not be much, but something before I go to the store. Or emotional, because a That's lot true. of emotional eating goes. I didn't yes, really realize that until there were some studies I've heard about that. A lot of people, you know, gain weight because it's just emotional eating. It is, and yeah, we don't think about is. that. No, yeah. we don't. We don't think about I don't that. Don't think about that. I, I don't think about I'm emotional at that time yeah. that I'm eating something. Yeah. I just think, you know, it, this is good. Yeah. Oh, I want that. Yeah. You know, and just go ahead and grab it. Don't think about what's going on or what has yeah. transpired before yeah. right. that makes me that. grab a cookie, right. grab a bag of chips, and eat the whole bag. The Shut whole up. But you do bag. know that bag. it make you feel good. Yeah. That's the uh -huh. thing. That's it it that's makes it. you feel good. It makes you feel good. Yeah. You're sitting up there with, at home with it, with, eating in front of your TV and everything. Oh, my goodness. The whole goodness. bag is gone before you know it. Yes, yeah. the truth. Yeah. What's this other thing here? Um, oh. Eat whole foods, fruits and veggies, fish, baked, grilled, or boiled meats as much as possible. Mm -hmm. When eating processed foods, be sure to read the labels. Please. Sugar and salt content. Please read the labels. That's one thing. I mean, I, I was talking to one of my staff members the other week, and it's like, do you know how much sugar is in that? I said, let's turn to the label here. <laughs> <laughs> and she had this big old thing of pop. Okay. Wow. And I said, okay, it's, 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 it's only 17, she says, only 24 grams. I said, for how many servings? And this is three servings. That 24 grams times three. Read the labels. It's so important because you'll see what's exact, exactly what's going into your body. That's true. And sugar and salt are the biggest things that hurt our bodies. Yes. Too much of either yes. one. It's That's terrible. True. And it's the hidden yes. sugars yes. and salt. And yes. some of your foods, you don't see that. Mm -hmm. You don't see it on the label. But if you kind of flip it a little bit, you'll be able to see. Some of the labels have a two-part on it. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's not on the top label. It's on that bottom uh -huh. label. Once you flip it, you can see the hidden things that are in the food that you're eating and right. things like that. Wow. So it, it bears to take time and make a list. Mm -hmm. Make a list. Think yes. about what you're getting. And I like, I like it this way, and I've got to get better at this. Make a list according to what I'm going to cook instead yeah. of just getting it. Right. Yes. Make a list according right. to what I'm going to cook. Yeah. It'll save you time. It'll save you energy. And therefore, you're not getting something that just going to sit in your cabinet or sit in your refrigerator for a very long time. It's always good to shop according to what you're going to cook for that week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's right. the way a lot of people like in other countries do. They cook for the day. Uh, they don't even really cook for the week. They because a lot of them go in poor countries, especially, they just go to the market that yeah, day that and day. get what yeah. they need for that, that day. day. Yeah. And that's yeah, it. Yeah. You know, I think Americans have that because we have refrigerators and freezers and you can do all that. Right. Wow. But when you practice at just trying to feed yourself per day, then you really have on mind what you're going to prepare. Wow. Right. So the next, the next one is eat less um, processed foods. Oh, yeah. And that was like, for me, during the pandemic, you know, um, when when school was was completely yeah. out, mm -hmm. right. you know, I used to send processed food to my mom's house because that's mm -hmm. who was watching my kids while I was at work, uh -huh. and it was processed food because it was something that you know I didn't want to burden her with doing cooking. all the cooking. They already doing virtual, and that I felt bad about that. Right. They was at grandma's house doing virtual. So I bought processed food, but I tell you, I, I had to cut that out mm -hmm. quick. That right. Yeah, it, it's yeah. just not good. You're right. Every time you buy processed foods, I mean, I look at the labels, and when you can't pronounce some of the words that are on the ingredients, that's, that's bad, y'all. You know, yeah, that's if, true. if it's not reading, you know, like water, even sugar is a simple word to understand. But then they have these polyangramamide and cholesterol, oh, names I can't <laughs> even pronounce. You know, then you know, that's the words you haven't even, nobody. probably some of them we haven't seen before. You need no. to put it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, if you can't well, read we, it, put it down. <laughs> we do have a question, ladies, uh, oh, okay. from Rinda Johnson. She says, yes, I would like to know is drinking the vegetables or fruit drinks or smoothies are better than eating a salad or a fruit plate? I, I would say it, depends, it really depends on what you like. If you're not a salad person, I'm not a person just to grab a salad. A salad. I'm not that person. But I will grab a juice. 
I will grab a juice. It's, so it really depends on you. Do you prefer the salad or you're not a salad person? I'm not a salad person. I will eat it, but I will not go to the refrigerator and make me a salad just like that. But I will whip up a, a smoothie or juice me some green stuff and drink it right away. It's gone. It's out of my sight. So I'm like that. How about you ladies? Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, as for me, um, I do like salads. Um, I know what I do like about a smoothie that it, it can't take the place of a meal. It, it can't, it has all the nutrients that you need. So um, as, as far as sometimes I will prefer with the smoothie because it helped me not put so much in my salad that I might not need. <laughs> yes. Yes, the it, yeah, it's the salad dressing. Yeah, salad dressings can have a lot of, purchased salad dressing can have a lot of calories. But when you're juicing, like the way you do your, your drink your juices, uh, Sister Brenda, they're, they're fresh. Yes. You're doing it directly from the ingredients. Yes. But you got, like I was talking about with processed foods, you got to watch the juices that are in the store. That's because true. they're not they're that not fresh. They add other things to it. It's so true. much sugar. Yes. It's, it's, it's so much yes, sugar in the store bought preserve bought it smoothie. for days. Yes. yes. To yes. preserve it. Yes. So you wanna, if you want to juice your salads, you have to really do it yourself to get the best. Yes. You really have to. The stuff in the store has other stuff in it that's not always good for your body. That's so, true. And you, you are getting the equivalent because you're fre using fresh, fresh. vegetables. And fresh your, body, your body responds to that. Yeah. Your body responds to the audience. Your body responds to you juicing or is making a green smoothie that day and drinking it right out. It responds. You will feel that. Will. This morning before I came, I did a turmeric and ginger and I'll squeeze some lemon juice in it and I call it a shot. And I drink that shot. I felt it mm -hmm. invigorating, fresh. Your body will feel it. It will respond to it. You'll feel the energy in it. I have a, a turmeric energy drink that I use with cayenne pepper and black pepper in it oh, and yeah. garlic in it. Mm -hmm. You can feel that. It gives you instant energy just like that when you, wow, when you yeah. use it. Because why? Be because it's fresh. There's no additives. Mm -hmm. There's no salt. There's no hidden sugar mm -hmm. sugars or preservatives to make it last another day or make it last. When you juice or smoothie, please remember that it'll last for that day or right. the next day, but you want to make sure if you don't drink it that day, that next morning you need to go ahead and take care of that. Go ahead and drink it. Why? Because you don't want it to lose mm -hmm. the strength. You don't want it to lose its all natural vitamins for you. And you don't want to waste your money, really. Right. It costs to do this. It really Cost. In the last two days, we've been doing turmeric and ginger um, about two or three times a day. It costs to do that and juicing it. I have two juicing machines. Um, I have an escalating machine um, that costs about 200 and some dollars. Then I went and got the Hamilton uh, Beach Big Mouth Juicer because I wanted to put a whole apple in it and hurry up. So I've got two of them. Why? Because I enjoy doing that. I enjoy putting it in there, watching it, and then drinking it back. Sometimes you don't feel like eating. Juicing or smoothie is a better way. If you don't want to put any food in your mouth, maybe you've had a heavy breakfast or lunch and you don't want to eat in the evening, you can make a smoothie. You can make a juice, uh, juice with what you have. These things are what I had in my refrigerator. I didn't have to go out and get anything. I had apples, I had frozen fruit, I had garlic, all of that. That's what I had in my refrigerator. I made those out of what I had. So if you are looking um, to have your salad and you don't want to make a salad, go ahead. You can juice it. Or, like I said, you can juice cucumbers, but you need a different kind of juicer for that. You can juice, um, um, you can't juice lettuce. Well, you can, you can juice it, but you have to have a different machine for that. But you can also make a smoothie with lettuce, romaine lettuce. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say iceberg lettuce. It, that gets kind yeah. of messy. Yeah. But you can look that up also. Mm -hmm. But like I said, yes, it is good. Uh, if you want to do it, juicing it or making a smoothie for your salad instead of eating the salad itself, Brenda. Thanks for that question, by the way, Brenda. Yeah, you, if you have any juicing questions, this is the expert right here. Yeah. I don't know it's about an expert, but I do some good. research on you're it. You're good, you're good. We have a question uh, from uh, someone in our audience here in the sanctuary. Please ask your question. Yes, I would like to ask uh, Ms. Brenda, uh -huh. what, what form of turmeric and what form of ginger do you use? Oh, that's a good question. I didn't look at that label today. Hot <laughs> dog. But um, I know I go to Fresh Time as my go-to oh, store yeah, for uh, vegetables and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, this turmeric that I had today was raw. Mm -hmm. I got the oh. raw turmeric where I put it in my juicer today. Mm -hmm. This turmeric I used today and the ginger is raw. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I've got some powder, but the name brand I'm not sure of. Okay. You can let her know that later. And, yes. And I also, just to say, her other part of her question was about eating salads. I love salads, but I have found to make my salads as healthy as possible. I don't like to, and you were talking about this, Tasha, just a minute ago, it's what you put on your salad. Mm -hmm. Creamy dressings, ladies, are not good. No, I know no. a lot of us like ranch. Uh, my yeah. husband, Pastor Jackson, loves blue cheese. <laughs> Honey mustard is mine. <laughs> Honey mustard. But the cream, that adds a lot of calories. The vinaigrettes are less calories, less fat, less sugar. So if you can change your palate, try something. I, I just tried. I thought I would never like raspberry uh, vinaigrette. Right. And I've been good. trying that. That's and good. that is really it's good. good. It is. It is I always really good. went with Italian. But yes. I said, that is really good. So I'm trying some dressings, but I always try on the light side. Vinaigrettes are very light. If you home make your, especially if you make them yourself. Yes. Uh, I don't do a lot of homemaking, but I do look at the ingredients when I buy my salad dressings. And some of them I do, but the creamy dressings, ladies, mm, that's, those are a little too heavy. Yeah, that's very heavy. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A lot of some of our other eating habits here. Oh, uh, that will help us. Uh, eat, I mean, drink more water. Wow. That's my challenge. I'm Our speaking challenge. to myself. I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> Probably some I'm of yours, to you guys too. <laughs> speaking to myself. I know you're supposed to eat, what is it, eight cups of eight ounces eight a ounces. day. Eight ounces, yes. And Pastor brought me this last year, a big old thing that's about a gallon of water, and I hadn't used it, but I started using it this week. And my excuse was I didn't feel like going to the bathroom. <laughs> But I have to, I have to. I've been having a little dry mouth situation here, and the only thing my doctor says is going to help me is drink more water. Hydrate your skin, yes. yes. So I've been drinking, and, and, and water is so, and we already know this, ladies. We already know this is good for so many things in our bodies. Amen. It flushes everything out. It, it does. It helps clear our skin. It helps yes. our hair. Yes. Everything. So we need to all just practice. I and need plus, to do better. That you're supposed to drink some, especially before every meal, so you don't eat so much. That's true. It That's can help true. you not to eat so much if wow. you drink more water. That is so true. Yeah. That is true. What else we have here? Cut back on saturated fats. Oh, uh, yeah. Eat on small plates. Yes. Eat your calories and don't drink your calories. Yes, yes. Oh, that's wow. Good. That's a that good one. That is a I good one. On that one. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Eat your calories. <laughs> do not drink your calories. I mean, so many drinks we buy. Empty that's, calories. Yes, all empty. There is nothing nutritional about a pop. Not even diet pop. There the is name, nothing. Maybe nothing. the name. You think the name is nutritional? No. <laughs> Pepsi. No, no. no. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Everybody got their favorite pop, but there is nothing nutritional about it. Not wow. even Seven Up. Nothing. You know. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely. And the juices are full of sugar. You know, even I used to be guilty giving too much juice to my children because even juices are full of sugar. Yes. You know, and you have to watch that intake as well. You That's know true. how much even natural juices you That's give. True. I was going to say, even uh, I what it was uh, two or three weeks ago, I juiced apples mm -hmm. and pineapples which were really good, but it was really sweet. Yeah. It was really, really sweet. I'm like, wow. wow. And this was all natural. I just put it in the juice, cut them up, put them in the juice, yeah. and just come out. I said, ooh, taste this. Give it to my granddaughter. Certain, wow. The certain fruits have yes. a lot of sugar, yes. like we were talking about. Uh, apples and uh, some oranges and bananas and uh, it does. grapes. But like I said, the berries are very low in sugar. But we just have to balance it. Balance you know, it. I love mixing, especially what you do with the vegetables in there. That is and a turmeric yes. and stuff like that. Yes. Well, I can't you know wait what, to taste well, just those. Back to the soda and the water. Uh -huh. um, if you're a person that like loves sodas and trying to get away from sodas, I know there is like um, ice water. Uh, is it ice water? Ice. Uh, it? It's a. Uh, what are you talking about? The name of the product is ice. Ice, okay. Yeah. So I, I love that. It gives you that bubbly, but it's it's no calories, it's no sugar. So I you know that that's a if you're trying to get away from pop, that's probably a good start. A good start. A yeah, it's a good start to, to virtually go into into just and, drinking water. And then yeah, because I know it's you know, we got to be honest with ourselves. Yeah. You know, but at least, you know, you're not drinking pop. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's kind of, you know, get you on the right thing. But I know also with me, I have to watch now any carbonated drink. And ice is, is carbonated. It's something that just does to my body. 
yeah. you know, and everybody's different. It gives me that too much bloating effect. effect okay. So I do drink that occasionally, but yeah. it's very limited because of the carbonation. Okay, ladies, we're going into our last final 10 minutes okay. here. Okay, all right, let's see. There's a, got a few more things that will help you eat healthy. Did you know that, um, let me see, we already talked about eating fish. Yes. Less red meat, because... Mm -hmm. You know, it takes days. You realize it takes days to I process never, red I meat? I never understood that. The Why? Doctors will tell you, it's, it, it just, a body just does not process red meat as quickly as others. I'm going to do some research on that yeah, red do, meat. Do that. Do yeah. that. Do that. Do some research on that. Uh, use more whole grains to cook with, yes. such as when you're baking. I know we've got some bakers out there. There is whole grain flour, you know. Try some different recipes with that. And something doctors always tell us to do, get more sleep. And I know that's hard sometimes because we work some crazy hours sometimes at our jobs and our lives are just too busy. Too busy. Too busy. So, but it is important because that sleep is what helps heal our body. That's true. It helps regulate things, get things back. It's like restarting, you know, that's, the that's machine. True. Yes, oh, yes. Very, very and we know the next one coming up is this is pastor's favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Exercise. Now, uh, for me, I got next to that, you know, walking. It's really, I, I have just fallen in love with walking. And it's just the basic exercise there is. I mean, you can say you can't do aerobics, you can't do uh, bouncing and all that kind of stuff. But if you got two legs and God can, you can still That's stand good. up, you can walk. You can walk. And walk. It's a great exercise. Yes, it is. Walking is a great exercise. And walking outside, I can tell you this, because I had um, a situation going on with vertigo a few years ago. It's something, and I've read, I, I did some research on it. Okay. And it helps, walking helps you uh, emit these, um, what you call them, hormones out of your brain that wow. is soothing. And is it, it endorphins? It's endorphins, I think, yeah, one of it's endorphins, uh -huh. and then it's something else. Okay. That just uh, calms your brain, wow. relaxes you, and helps you mentally. You know, especially walking outside. That's amazing. I mean, you can walk inside, and that helps you too, but, but not as much as getting that fresh air and seeing nature. I mean, it just makes all the difference. And I just love this time of year because it's my walking season, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, real walking season. What well, else we have on here? We have um, the last question um, is whatever you start off with in the morning, your body is going to crave all day. I, I, th now, that was one that I put in there because it was true for me. I, when we were uh, preparing to do this, I thought about that morning. I said, wow, I had this this morning, and now my body is craving it all day long. And I know some of you all have that. If I start off eating bad in the morning, if I put sugar in my body, I'm telling you, the, whatever it is in my brain connects to my belly, and it'll be start talking to me. <laughs> I, I've, how many of you all are like that in the audience? You have that? You start off with something sugary in the morning, mm -hmm. and then later on down the day, you feel that in the midday, in the afternoon or night, you feel that craving. You want that again. Even sitting right here, I'm, I'm thinking about I'm like wait a minute I'm not doing that today I'm going to drink these drinks right here today so whatever you start off in the morning with your body is going to crave it's going to hunger it's going to want it your mind will float to it you'll get thoughts about it you'll begin to see it and you know I've had instances when I was really really eating bad I would begin to smell it I'm like, wow. That's serious, bro. That, that was serious. It was. <laughs> it was really serious. And that's truth. Yep. I began to smell it. Wow. wow that, is, that is really serious. So there are, these are just some, some ideas that, you know, we could think about for the eating healthy, but I'm sure you probably have others. So we got some questions we just want to ask you before we have to get off here now. Yes. So why am I not eating right? What is, what is your reason? Inevitably, you know, we already said, you know, people do what we want to do, but it's a mindset. It it's a simply, mindset. it's a mindset. Whatever we make our minds up to do, ladies, we can do it, and we know God will help us do it. That's true. We have a question panel. Yes. Um, uh, Sister Renda Johnson says, it's hard to find healthy snacks while healthy eating. Any suggestions, please? I love going to the stores. I only have time usually to do it on weekends and getting my healthy snacks like during the, for, for during the week. I love baby, baby, raw baby carrots. Okay. And what are those uh, snap peas that are in the, um, 
I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm talking about? What, yes. What, are those called snap peas? I, not, they're not called snap peas, but I know exactly which ones you're I talking about. I love seen those them. things. Wow. And edagami, oh my goodness, I could eat a pound <laughs> of edagami. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> really? I, I don't I like those. I love those things. Oh I goodness. love I those things. <laughs> we had them at work. Mini, I love those mini, I love those kind of cucumbers too, but I love those, I eat those, mini, those little mini cucumbers. Oh yes, those are good. Those are I really mean, crunchy. Yeah. I like those. Those are and really by crunchy. by the way, those are English cucumbers, and mm -hmm. they are very low in calories and yep. very crunchy too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, there are, there are, I, I really, I really haven't met a vegetable that I didn't like lately, I'll be honest <laughs> yeah. with you. I really, yeah. I'm a vegetable lover. Um, I love most fruits. There are a couple of fruits I've had that I don't particularly care for, but I love most fruits. But I don't have a taste for fruits all the time like I do for vegetables. Like, I can only eat apples when it starts to get warmer. I just can't eat apples in the wintertime. I wow. don't know why. I just have seasonal now, see, taste buds I, I for apples. I found an apple all year long, and that's Honeycrisp. Yeah. Anybody like a honey crisp I love apple? Honey crisp. I found honey crisp apples all year. Yes. <laughs> they are crunchy. They very are very just good. right, you know. Mm -hmm. And it takes away that um, something, you know, craving something. I put that crunch. I've got the hardness of the crunch, and I've got the sweetness there. Mm -hmm. So that works for me. Sometimes when I have that on hand, I just grab it, and I am good to go. Mm -hmm. And one of my go-to uh, snacks in the summertime. It's watermelon. It's, oh, I know it's high yeah. in sugar. A lot of people say it's a lot of sugar. Yeah. But watermelon is, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, it's yeah. just good. And I found a recipe that you can juice watermelon. I'm okay. going to try that. All so right. maybe we'll be able to, you know, tell you all about that down the road somewhere about juicing watermelon. <laughs> but uh, that's one of my snacks. And an apple crisp, honey apple crisp is one of my go-to snacks. Yeah, yeah. And just getting some celery. And I love, I, I shouldn't, but I do love peanut butter. <laughs> Peanut Ooh. butter and celery, I, I mean, but you can't have a lot of peanut butter, yeah. you know. And then, you, and then some people are allergic to peanuts, and I know that wild butter, guys, it tastes just like peanut butter to me. Wow. Have you tried, tried wild, wild butter? Almond butter. Okay. No, not, uh, um, it's called W-O-W, wild butter. Oh, it's wow. in a jar I just like I peanut butter. I you got to see, it's, in, it's at Walmart. It's so at your store. <laughs> it's in Walmart, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. It's so just like peanut butter. Go and check you just it gotta taste, It tastes just like peanut butter, but it's no peanuts in it. Wow. So if you have allergic reactions to peanuts, you get a teaspoon. Sometimes wow. I'll just go downstairs and give me a teaspoon of peanut butter, and that's all I want. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. One, one more. Wow. W-I-L-D. No, W-O-W. Wow. 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 That is a wow, isn't it? One more snack. One more snack oh. is really, really good real what? quick is um, the granny apples. Um, the, oh, yeah. You know, the green apples mm -hmm. and peanut butter. It tastes like caramel apple together. Oh, that yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. that it is tastes good. like caramel apples yeah. together. So that is a really good snack That's as well. That's a healthy snack. Healthy snack. Mm -hmm. That is a healthy really snack. Is. Get those yeah. little bitty cups for your wild butter or your peanut butter and you have your vegetables on the side. Hey. That is amazing. That's I'm okay. going to try that. Yeah. I am going to try that. Wow, peanut butter. Wow. Uh -huh. Because I know pecans and walnuts, you know, they, they irritate me. Mm -hmm. They irritate me. So I'm going to try that wow butter. Okay. That's yeah. something new for me. Right. And I know some people can't have peanuts either. Right. Okay. So we got to wrap it up, guys. Um, so we ask, I, I ask this question, you know, we pray and we ask God to heal us. And our loved ones all the time. We always have somebody on the prayer list. And thank God we want to pray for everybody. But think about this. How many times do we know that we are sick or not well because of our diets? Mm. And what we have been doing in our lives has not been good for us to eat. So why do we continue to eat that way? You know, God can heal us. But what did Jesus say back in the Bible? Don't go out and do it again for a worse thing will come upon you. you know, I'm just para para paraphrasing. Good. So, you know, the, what, what is it? Um, the, the results of sin is death. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're saved, sanctified. Yes, you're going to go to heaven, but you're still going to die for the sin. If you ate too much or you've been eating the wrong thing. So what, you can still enjoy food, enjoy yes. what we eat, that's true. but just make modifications. Yes. I know it's hard to cut back all at once. That, that's a shock to the system, just like cutting back on sugar. And by the way, sugar is, is, is like a drug, because when you cut back cold turkey, you still have the shakes and all that kind of stuff. But start to just dwindle it down and then find what other things your body likes, you know, that are not so bad for it. So you can have a healthy body and not develop all of the sickness and disease caused from it. 20 seconds. So, Thank God for uh, everybody that has participated. We're so thankful for your being here today. Thank you so much. And uh, for, for those of you who are in the sanctuary, I'm sorry, you guys, who are viewing us via the Internet, but all of our guests here in the sanctuary can have 
partake of all of the goodies Ooh, we have 